Welcome back, but hold on. We have... Hold on. Oh, sorry. My, my, my controller turned off. As it will do when you haven't moved it for a bit. There we go. Which one do I want? Do I want friends? Do I want five quadrillion yen? A superpower or nothing needs to be done? Well, you know what they say? Money can't buy friends. But you know what money also can't buy? Superpowers. Work hardy. That's... Uh, you can't. I mean, unless you're Saitama, you can't. Doesn't work for everyone. Became a childy. Okay. Back to the investigation. We're leaving. Okay, where do you want to go next? Well, we were just in a Somnium that looked like Studio Divida. We might as well go there. Investigators are on the scene. The police are still investigating. Komeiji's body was found two days ago. It hasn't been that long. You know, when we were talking with Boss, she didn't bring up the whole thing about busting us down to policemen if we can't solve the case. It didn't come up. Maybe she forgot about it, you know? Maybe she calmed down and forgot she said that. Don't remind her. Snakey, snakey, sneaky, snakey. A lot of cognitive activity going on right now. What was that? I have no idea. Any new intel? So many questions. Why was Komeiji killed? What is Terra thinking? About Kizuna. Yeah, I heard. The daughter of Richi Chieda has been kidnapped. We don't know if it's a kidnapping. Either way, I can't help you with that. I don't know her and I don't know her whereabouts. Sorry. You should try somewhere else. Terror's identity? How would we know? But I'm sure that nice ideology has to do with the HP case. Look, someone has to know. If I just keep asking everyone I meet if they know who Terror is, someone must know. Someone's gonna tell me. I'm a veteran detective. My instincts are usually right about stuff like this. Any new intel? Isn't there anything? Anything that connects to the culprit? Anything regarding Kizuna? Kizuna? It's this girl. Oh, right. Our holographic projector hmm. comes up sometimes. Like, this is only the second time it's come up. I see. An inspector is checking something. Ask his name. You're really annoying, Ryuki. Don't you think people are getting bored of this? Seems not. People love it. Yo, my name is Kagami. Nice to meet ya. See, he's shaking things up. He's putting on voices when he says it. Kagami, 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 Kagami. Kagami, 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 Kagami. Kagami, 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 Kagami. I already know his name. I don't need to ask him again. Probably don't need to ask his name. What was his name again? Hey, social distancing! It's Kagami! An inspector is checking something. Big camera. Camera tripod. Long table. Regulation line. Stretcher. Kameji was on here. Heavy door. Any new intel? Unfortunately, there's no new info. We're getting used to that. Anything regarding Kizuna? Have you seen this girl? Nah, I haven't. Sorry, I can't be more help. No leads. Ryuki, you can't let it get to you. 
Kizuma is out there somewhere, and she needs our help. Well, we don't know that she needs our help. Yeah, you're right. We're just, you know, we're being precautious. We have to find her. <laughs> All right. Um, what, what about Lemniscate? Maybe Iris is there. Kizuna, I guess she wouldn't have come here. Oh, it's a hottie. A hottie? Wow. No, no, my name is uh, Ryuki. Um. Oh, it's cool. You don't have to say it. You want to touch these two big girls I've been growing. No, I wasn't thinking that. Oh, fine. Just for a bit, okay? I'll take them out. Oh, those are pretty impressive. Oh. Tachibana oranges! I grew them in my backyard. Wanna feel? No, thanks. I'm okay. But, but the texture, Ryuki. The texture. Girl with the big tits, affectionately named by Tama, is sitting behind the desk. Yellow spotted neck turtles winning, winning. Cash on me like I hit the lottery. I'm in a relationship with all my bitches, yeah. Very relevant to the case. Anything regarding Kizuna? Excuse me. I'm looking for a girl named Kizuna Chieda. Kizuna? It's this girl. Have you seen her? No, I haven't. Darn. All right, I guess I do need to save the game. I mean, we already did this once. I don't know if it'll do it a second time. Hmm. Shame we didn't get anything useful here. Ryuki. I know. Let's go somewhere else. Like maybe to Atami. I'm not in the mood for it today. If only you asked two days ago. No, she's not in the mood. She is a fickle mistress. When no one's around, I sometimes watch yellow spotted necked turtle videos. What is that? I imagine videos of yellow spotted, you know, turtles. I don't think there was like innuendo there. Special. Become a trainer. Ryuki, can you pick that up later? Trainer of what? Tama. What are we training? That's the couch. That's a sofa. That's a love seat. There's only two. There's. A, it's only seated for two. So yeah, technically, I think you would call it a love seat. Ugh. Ew! It's a nasty bug. Don't let it bug you. <laughs> Your laugh hurts me. Oh, we made her laugh. We might be as getting as good as at comedy as Kameji. Could we ever be as funny as that master of the stage? The title of that painting is Hakorn. I don't know what it means, but incomprehensible abstract paintings on display. All right, nothing really here. What about Sekiba High? Another murder site, which probably means there are no, no students here. We asked all the students we saw. There was no trace. This is where Chikara's right half was. Sure was. This location is related to the HB case, so there might be some clues. That's what I was thinking anyway, but... There's nothing here. Too bad. Let's go somewhere else. Students' desks. Ryu I'm not licking it. I hope we're not licking it. It's a chair. Hey, Ryuki. Can you eat some chunk? Why, why would we do this? The demands are getting worse all the time. It's a blackboard. 
Monitor used for class. Teacher's desk. And it does not seem like there's anything here for us to really look at. Lockers. All right, let's head on out. Uh, the Sagan residence? Maybe Iris is there. Oh. Have have a guest? Tell me what's going on. Do you know this woman? She was collapsed in a nearby park. She seemed completely out of it. I wanted to call her an ambulance, but she refused. She wouldn't even let me take her to a hospital. So I brought her here. Well, let's do a little wink sinking. Where did he go? Damn, not like this. I don't, don't suppose you could just like slip the mask off. Maybe it'd be rude to do that. It's the masked woman. She's sleeping with her head on Hitomi's lap. Uh, why were you at the park? Eh. I need to find her. What? Where is the execution chamber? Execution chamber? Hmm. What is she talking about? Wait, could she be? Hmm? N no, there's no way. Are you okay? Eh? Uh -huh. There's no response. It's just the corpse. No, she's not. Her heart rate is normal. Hey, you! Get up! H hold on a second. Can't you see she's sick? No, I can't. She's just she's just lying there. She's completely covered. Uh-huh. Psych. <laughs> There's a throwback. Ryuki, how old are you? I'm an adult, yes. Why do you ask? What was she doing in the park? I'm not sure. I just happened to be walking by. Why was she collapsed? She said it was her chronic illness acting up. A chronic illness? She was born with a weak heart, and she mentioned something else. She said something about coming into contact with strong electricity, and that made her symptoms worse. Uh-huh. I have no idea what she meant. She was mumbling to herself. How is she now? After coming here, she injected herself with some kind of medicine she had. It seemed to have helped a little. She asked if she could rest here a bit. And that's the last thing she said before she fell asleep. She slept with her mask on. I tried taking it off, but it wouldn't budge. It seems like it's glued on. Hmm. It, where's, where's your daughter? She hasn't come back since last night. She said she was going to look for a friend. I'm guessing it was Kizuna? Yes, uh, probably. Is that why you're here? Yes. I'm sorry. I have no idea where she could be. I see. Mm. Well, didn't find who we're looking for. Yuki, now's not the time to be heading on a cougar. I am not hitting on anyone, Tama. Well, this is for the investigation. Right. We need to find Kizuna. Wait, I didn't hit on her. Let's get going. Iris's mother. Well, we have seen her in the park before. She's looking for the execution chamber, so maybe we should... The tables are kind of lewd, aren't they? How so, Tama? No. I'm not gonna... Not gonna elaborate. Hey, it's Mama! From Marvel! Looks like her, but it's not. No, I don't think the... It's not really the, sh the same shade of purple. So maybe this secret place that we're looking for is in the park. This is a bookshelf, right? Right. But there aren't any books. I've gone completely digital. Yeah, who needs paper these days? Gotta find something else to put on your bookshelf since you don't need it for books anymore. Ryuki, can you sniff that? No! Hell no! Why not? Do I seriously have to explain? But at this rate, Hitomi won't believe you're a pervert. I don't want her to! 
Well, I mean, it'd be it'd be it'd be a shame if Atomi did didn't think that. Mysterious object. I guess you don't really care about the mysterious object. I guess that's everything that we have that we could look at, except the microwave. All right. <clears throat> There's the harbor. There's the end of residence, the diner, Sunfish Pocket, Eowyn Garden, Kumakura Office, Brahmin World Cuisine. Um, why don't we go see Moma, see if he knows anything. Kizzy's gone missing. You know Kizuna? Oh, she's the best friend of my future wife. Oh? Anyway, oh. this is a huge deal. We should get the group together and look for her. Thank you. Yeah, I got this. Oh, is that... We're done already? All right. Had auto on. Mama. Kermakura Crest is on display. Phone on the desk. It's the chairman's desk. I hacked into it. Looks like he's been buying 44 mags. <sighs> that could be trouble. Why? He's just buying 44 lifestyle and entertainment magazines. Ha ha. What? Why would you say it that way? Because I'm bored. I've done this like a thousand times already. Can't take you anywhere. Hey, Ryuki, what would you call a gotatsu made out of extra hardened wood? Do they even make something like that? I'm saying if they did. Well, a hardwood kotatsu? Slower! Hardwood? One more time. Hardwood. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. A gang member's desk? There's all kinds of things on it. We're connecting to the next room. Chair. Maybe I've told you this before, but I want to do it on a sofa. Do what? Nap. Well, yeah, we all do. Ashtray. Low table. I'll hold them up here. You guys get going. Did you hear something? What? Tiger rug on the floor, and that's it. Nothing special about it. Get a like, leave a like. Twenty sixth voice actor talent search. Well, it seems like there's nothing else here. All right, we are narrowing things down. Is, would there be anyone at the Horidori Institute of Genetics? It seems like an interesting place, but is there actually anyone there? Well, there's a couple of people. Some workers. I guess they're still working, even though their boss is dead. Hello. Hello. Are you a researcher here? I'm Kuruto Ryuki, from the Metropolitan Police Department. Right. You were here four days ago. I remember. I wanted to ask you some questions. And don't worry, I'm pretty sure that answering my questions won't result in you being cut in half, like what happened to your boss after he answered my questions. That was just a coincidence, I'm pretty sure. Momoka, it's okay. I'll clean up the keyboard. Momoka. You don't have to think about that. It's irrelevant. Oh, good. Tama letting us know what we need to spend our precious brain power on. You're still working after your boss was killed. Schedule management is really tough. 
But outside of some dire circumstance, we can't stop our research. It's too important. Isn't Mr. Horidori getting killed a dire circumstance? Well, no, not to our investors. They're the ones paying for all this research. Do you know Kizuna Chieda? Yes, I know her. Oh, really? She's the daughter of Richie Chieda, a big stakeholder in this facility. Ah, uh, yeah, they would know who she is because of him, yes. What about her? She went missing. Oh, that's awful. Do you happen to know where she is? I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't know her personally or anything. I talked to the other researchers, just to be sure. They all said the same thing. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta take this. What should I do if an old guy attacks me? Crush throat. Not for amateurs. About the hidden room, if you know what I mean. Do you know of any hidden rooms in this building? Hidden rooms? What do you mean? You know, like a secret room. Maybe a secret room that no one knows about. Yes, even you. Maybe you don't even know about it. <laughs> That's quite the paradox. How could I tell you about a room no one knows about? And if it's a secret, I wouldn't be able to simply tell you, would I? He's got a point. We used x-ray mode to look around. There are no secret rooms or passageways that could lead to a hidden room. Ryuki, let's hold off on the hidden room. But if Kizuna was in there... True, we can't say for sure that she isn't there. But we're taking a lot of time looking for some hidden room that might not even exist. We should focus our attention somewhere else. At least for now. Yeah, we could probably ask Lien about it. You know, whenever we see him again. Yeah, okay. Oh, I guess we can go. Uh, infor information regarding, uh, Chikara. Happy, happy Chikara. I already told the other detectives, but we don't have any information that could help the investigation. Well, I doubt this is relevant, but rumors were going around about the director being a bit of a pervert. Oh, l let me know about these juicy rumors. A pervert? Didn't he seem that way to you? Well, yes, but I want some hard details. He was a very suspicious character. I agree, 100%. I guess we can't inquire about his perverted ways. Robotic arm. Robotic arm, a test tube. Drink it. All right, here we go. Why would I do that? It might make your thingy bigger. I don't think there's any scientific uh, b backing up of that of your theory, Tama. I'm not going to risk my life for that. Oh, I think you misunderstood. I was talking about your areolas. Now I'm even more reluctant. I need I need it to be tested more before we start drinking some weird science juice on the vague premise of that my thingy will get bigger. I'd rather die than drink it. It's a flask. It's a binder. Medicine bottle? Sure. Desk. What about this PC? Statue? That looks like Kizuna. Not really. How exactly? The statue. Chair. Door. Window. Researcher. Biopod. Keyboard. Set your monitor. So was that everything? It seems like it got everything. I'm saying we can go anyway. All right, let's head on out. How about we go to Brahmin World Cuisine?
What? Kusuna's missing? And we can tell again what a good game show host he was. You didn't get a call? No, nobody told me. Kizuna, why? Explain the circumstances. I understand. I'll help too. I'll look for Kizuna too. What about your place? I can't be worrying about that now. Amame's best friend is missing. I need to find her no matter what it takes. I'm gonna get going. All right, he's out of here. There he goes. The restaurant is empty. Is it okay to just leave it like this? I checked the register with X-Ray. There's barely any cash in there. Electronic payment is the way to go nowadays. Is that right? Anyway, we should... Get going. Yeah. Like, when when Ryuki pays for things, does he just have Tama do it? Can you, can you pay for things with your eyeball? Or would Tama, like, consider something like that to be beneath her? Like, would she not want to be used for such mundanity? Alcohol bottle. Menu. Ganesha. Door. Table. Large pot. Freezer door. Not seeing anything else. Is there something else? Uh, yeah, beer case. Yeah, then maybe that's it. All right, well, I don't know if it affects anything, but Gen did take off after talking with him, so maybe he's going to be doing something. Um, well, if we're heading out to restaurants, let's go talk to Oda. I mean, I guess we have to at some point. Except is Oda not here? Perhaps not. Looks like no one is here. Didn't you see the sign out front? What sign? Closed for the day. I guess that means Ota is out. Probably. Where did he go? I have no idea. Hmm. Either way, we can't be wasting time here. Right. We need to find Kizuna. Alright. Right away, we can leave. Kids' seat. Table. Stool. Counter. Post. Ricky, don't steal that. I wasn't planning on it. Well, it's just Oda's. Beer poster. Kitchen. Swinging door. Paper. Autographs. Sliding door. Meow. Yes, very good. It's a lucky cat statue. TV. Beer case. Low table. Floor cushion. Calendar. Window. Fortune. Salt, pepper, spices, and... Ota's cold-pressed juice. Yeah. Oh, a mysterious condiment. I don't want to know about Ota's juice. Need a little bit more detail in what we're dealing with here, here Ota. Disposable chopsticks. Stool. Me me menu. Right, well, let's take off. Um, sure, let's go talk to Shoma. Is Shoma here? The robot's here. Shoma is not here. No one here. Yeah. Anyway, no point in staying here. Let's get a move on. Let's rifle through his stuff. The robot. Toy robot. Kotatsu smell like pure literature. What? 
we're not gonna get she never elaborates on these things it's Sabako on TV do you realize how old that reference is we ne we're never gonna find out about the strange protrusion TV stand family altar some men have peeled green beans some men don't yeah what does that mean think about it all right, I thought about it. Can Tommy give me her interpretation? Ryuki, make a funny face. I could, but you wouldn't see it, would you? That's a good point. That's a good point. Gotta stand in front of a mirror. A picture of Ame no Uzume, a goddess from Japanese mythology. She danced with her boobs swinging around, right? That's what we read. I'm not gonna do that. I didn't ask you to. Yeah, as we know, she's not really a fan. Tom is not really a, a dancer. Ryuki, look, it's Kizuna. Yep, that's her. It's right there. The only thing they have in common is the skin tone. It's all for the quiz. Trophy. Dresser. So much when you hit your little toe on that. Tama, are you really an AI? Just the drawers. Kitchens are so sensual. Uh huh. Well, I mean, you do tend to use your sense of smell in the kitchen. And, you know, in that way, you are making use of of one of your senses. There's more me inside the closet. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but Ryuki seemed to be into it. Greenery in a garden. Holding fan for slapstick comedy. It seems to be. See, uh, light hanging from. Okay, now I think we got everything. Not many locations to go. Let's go to Sunfish Pocket. Well, at least there's people here. Oh. Ota, there you are. Have you heard? Well, like, I'll, I take back what I said. About Kizuna, right? I've been looking for her since last night. All I can see is blood. You mean your eyes are bloodshot? Yes, that's what I meant. But I couldn't find Kizuna anywhere. I mean, if your eyes are bloodshot, you don't see blood. It's not like your vision turns red or anything. A table. What is Oyster Oyster? It's two oysters from Hiroshima. It's a menu. It's a chair. Hey, Ryuki. Deep down, don't all men want to be sat on by women? I don't know about all men, but, you know, there's a certain appeal. No. I think there's something to it. Could Kizuna be in there? Mm, nope. We could use x-ray vision to look in there. We don't have to guess. It looks like a flotation device, but it's actually a calamari ring. That's one big calamari ring. Isn't it a bit big for that? A life-saving calamari ring. A counter. Counter or what? There, kitchen window. It sounds like there's an argument happening back there. Someone's yelling in the kitchen. Cash register. Mermaid photo. Kizuna be in there? Yes, absolutely. Nope. How do it you know? I x-rayed it earlier. So I take it you thought she might be in there too. Wouldn't Tama know if he did? Wooden barrel. It's a big hard one. Well, anchors have to be big and hard, yes. Right. Like, they wouldn't really work. If they weren't. Okay, Oda, I've been putting off talking to you long enough. I 
hope Kizzy's okay. I need to get back to searching. Any leads? I talked to all the mermaids. I asked them if they knew where Kizzy went, but I didn't get any answers. None of them knew. Why are you here, Oda? I thought that Mame might know where Kizzy is. Is she talking? I tried calling and messaging her on Nile, but I couldn't get a hold of her. Yeah, I put her in the chair. Uh, I, th I think she's doing okay. So I came here. I thought I could find her here. You remember the chair, Oda? It doesn't look like she is, though. Uh, you were in the chair once upon a time. Nope. Anyway, I'm gonna get out there and keep looking. What about your food? Ryuki, do you think that little of me? He's gonna get it to go, obviously. I put my friends above everything else. I can't be wasting time sitting around eating omelet rice. But you were just eating a second ago. Anyway, gotta get going. And Oda really likes omelet rice. Like, he makes omelet rice himself in the restaurant. And when he comes here, he wants to get omelet rice made by someone else. He can't get enough of it. Ryuki, good luck with your search. No, oh, he left. Can we take his food? <sighs> Who cares? Exactly. That's what we all say about Oda. Anyway, we should go too. Yeah. I cannot steal his food. It's a menu. Should have been a scene where Oda unhinged his jaw and just put the whole plate in. Anyway. Eowyn Garden? Try that. Maybe her father's here. Yeah, her father is here. Oh, oh, Kizuna. He's beside himself. Where have you gone? It's icy seesaws. Yeah, we're just... I, I like to believe that we're saying these things out loud. Hey, look! It's a jungle gym! Look! A, a slide! It's Eowyn's dormitory. A big tree here. Playground steps. It swings back and forth on a spring. There's something, something green there. What was that? Uh, swing set. A swing set! Alright, not much else to look at. Alright, let's talk to the man. Oh, Kizuna, please come back safe. I'll do anything for you to come home safely. I'll pay anything. Please, bring her back in one piece. Hopefully in the future, Pewter doesn't find out that Wink sinking causes some sort of brain damage. Because, you know, we've been doing it a lot. We do it whenever we can. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully it's been tested enough that Pewter is pretty sure there's no deb debilitating effects on the person for, for Wink sinking with them. Pretty sure there's not. Please, calm down. How can I be? My dearest only daughter is missing. How could this happen? How? Rishi Chieda, Kizuna's father. He's not in good shape. About Kizuna's disappearance. The curfew at her house is 7 p.m. If she has permission, she's allowed to stay out till 9 p.m. That was the case yesterday. She told me she was going to eat dinner with a friend and that she'd be back by 9. But by 10 p.m. she still hadn't returned. I was worried, so I called her again and again. I heard the line ringing, but no answer. After another hour or so, I had an awful feeling. I decided to call all of Kizuna's friends. How did you know their contact info? Kizuna's address book was on the family's shared cloud. Anyway... I called and asked where Kizuna was, but none of them knew. 
And the friend she was eating dinner with said the last time he saw her was nine. There has to be something going on. That's why I call the police. You're Ryuki, right? Of the Metro Police? Sure am. Yeah. Then please, my daughter. Find my daughter no matter what. Well, I'm sh I'm pretty sure I will f at least find half of her. Be pretty sure of that. We have it under control. Please calm down. We absolutely do not have it under control. I'll find her. I promise you. Okay. Thank you. And he's gone. Guess we can get gone too. Harbor Warehouse District? All right. We all love the warehouse. Oh, hey, Leon's here. Leon, do you know that Kizuna's gone missing? He was probably the first to know. Of course I do. I was with her right before she vanished. Oh, hold on, hold on, Leon. This is very important. This is very important, Leon. What rank do I like? Uh, lightweight. Not light at all, honestly. Okay, sorry. That was a very important call I had to take. Uh, first, I need to make some observations. It's a wooden box. The ocean. Old storage warehouse. Forklift. Warehouses lined up. We all search the warehouses, but no one's to be found. We're just going to do that off screen because it would take a while to actually do it. And we have things we need to do. It's a crane. All right, Leanne. Uh, you might f you might feel your head go numb for a second. I know it happens a lot when you're around me. Only I'd walked her back home. Well, if he's the last person who saw her, that really does make him a suspect, doesn't it? I mean, even if we may, on a personal level, feel like he wouldn't have hurt her, um, you know, officially, he really is a suspect in that case. The only suspect, honestly, in her disappearance. Why are you here? I came here with Kizzy once. So I thought, maybe. Yeah, f finish your sentence. Why do so many people in this game don't finish their sentences? They like say half a sentence and end it with dot, dot, dot. And it's like, you just say the rest of it. You just say the rest of it. It's Leanne. His face is filled with tension and despair. Anything regarding Kizuna? I went everywhere I could think of. I've been looking everywhere. I can't sleep. Does that include the secret room in the genetics lab? Because I'm curious about that. But... About Kizuna's disappearance. I left the store with Kizzy just past nine. I wanted to take her home, but she told me she'd just take a taxi. A taxi? I wonder if we can track down that taxi driver. And a couple hours later, around 11, I got a call from Kizzy's dad, Mr. Chieda. Kizuna isn't back yet. Is she with you? When I heard that, my stomach dropped. My mind went blank. My head was spinning. I told him we split up earlier that night and hung up. That's when I started looking for her. I also asked two people to help me look. One is my good friend Date. The other is a former co-worker, Quartz. I told them the situation. Kizzy is missing. Please, help me find her. Did you watch the video with Kizuna last night? Yeah, we watched some trending videos on ViewCube. You didn't, like, black out or anything, right? There was this one video related to the HB case. I told them we shouldn't watch it, but girls in high school have minds of their own, you know? <clears throat> Damn it. Where did you go, Kizzy? Anyway, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna find her, even if it costs me my life. You guys don't give up either.
We should go. I don't think there are any hints here. No, just a lot of people upset that uh, Kizuna can't be found. Yeah, you're right. Well, only one location left to go. That's Akumi Shrine. Mr. Date? Oh, you got your eye back. Ryuki. Huh? Huh. Hey, why are you looking at each other like that? We're having an AI ball stare down. Wait, are you two... Kissing? Maybe. Wouldn't you like to know, Mizuki? Well, um... Don't get the wrong idea. Ryuki and I just have a very... intimate relationship. That's right. So it is like that! Yeah, you would like it to be like that, wouldn't you? No, no, I don't mean sexually. I mean physically. Yeah, that's... physically intimate. That's like the same thing. It kinda is the same thing. Well, not exactly the same. Yeah, there's like a fine line. There's a fine line. It's tough visiting this time of year. Why? Because you need to clean your belly button with the holy water, right? Yeah, we all, we all have to do that. Belly button? It's, we're all familiar with that ritual. Wait, you don't know? The belly button is said to be one of the most sacred areas in Shintoism. So before you pray to the gods, you need to clean your belly button. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't know about that? <laughs> No reason. <laughs> Everyone is very familiar about the totally real belly button cleaning ritual. It's a Tezuya. You use it to wash out your belly button. Nah, just kidding. Use it to clean your, cleanse your hands before worshipping at the shrine. It's the main building of the shrine. Praying Mantis! What is that? It's the martial arts form, Mantis! Mizuki, you're very energetic today. Uh, oh, sorry. Now's not the time to play around. Just remembering her forms. There's a lantern here. Mizuki, which one of these trees did you knock over when you were training? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't think Ryuki knows about the, um, knows about the monster strength. There's a tree here. Stone monument. I can't read what it says. I mean, we could zoom in on it. Mr. Date, I've always wondered about the Tori. Why is the kanji a bird is there? Well, that's because back in ancient times, when Amaterasu hid in the Ame no Iwayato cave, in order to get her out, they use birds perched in a tree. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't fall asleep! Date is, I guess, not the most engaging of teachers. The Tori, a gateway. Gotta use my hand signs to cleanse it so I can clear away the fog. Doesn't seem to be a problem right now, though. I don't think there's any oh, anything else. Maybe not. Maybe not. Eh, let's use our wing sync on Date. You need to find Kizuna. I know. You can worry about terror later. Why are you here? You're here to steal the offering money, aren't you? Yep. Just gotta get some fishing line and gum. And uh, of course I'm not. About Kizuna. You're looking for the girl, right? Same here. We've been searching since last night, but... I don't think she's around here. Yeah. You have an AI ball in your left eye. So I was back in action. Yeah, she just came back. Oh, I miss you, Date. That does sound like her. I need you, Date. You should have heard her. Ow! Watch it! The 
Looks like you guys are the same as ever. I'm happy Iva's back, too. About Terror's identity. Now, where's this coming from? Mm. I can't say anything yet. Wait, you know who Terror is? I'll tell you once I can confirm it. But there's something you need to do first. It's Mr. Date, an Abyss Special Agent I look up to and have a very close physical relationship with. Not sexual, but extremely physical. It's Mizuki. Why are you with Mr. Date? Good question. Are you stalking me? Hell no, brat. I was looking for Kizuna and ran into you. About Kizuna. Yeah, I know she went missing. I got a call late last night from Kizzy's dad. He said she wasn't home and asked if I knew where she was. So I've been looking for her. No point staying here any longer. Yeah, let's split up and keep searching. Ryuki, when you find Kizuna, let me know. Understood. Good, let's go. Now, Ryuki, we should... On it. Yeah, that's all the locations. We've covered everything. And we learned kinda, kinda nothing, but other than Date might know who Terror is. He's not, he's not li giving us any info on that. Because I guess looking for Kizuna is a s totally separate thing. No connection. But I guess if Date is on the trail of Terror, I, I guess we don't need to worry about that. Afterward, we continued our search for Kizuna. Couldn't find her. Not even a clue. Hmm. Ryuki, what are you thinking about? Well, I haven't been able to find Kizuna no matter where I've gone. And I don't- I have memory problems. Tama, am I Kizuna? I can't rule it out, Tama. About Kizuna, of course. Liar. You're thinking about something else. I'm thinking about Date, of course, and our intimate physical relationship. It's almost like you can read my mind. No, that function was deleted about a month ago. Something about protecting the privacy of singers. Oh, would she used to be able used to just have free access to our brain. They closed off that function. So as of now, I can't read your mind. I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what's causing you pain. Hmm. The one thing I do know is that you're taking on way too much, Ryuki. There's no way you can handle all of this by yourself. And you know it, don't you? You put up a front. You pretend like you can handle it, and it doesn't bother you. And you end up overexerting yourself. Hmm. Why do you keep bottling it up inside? This isn't something you should take on by yourself. None of this is your fault. You did nothing wrong. It's the world that's wrong. Hmm. Huh. There it is. What? You're too kind, Tama. You want me to choke you? I guess that would make things easier. Hmm. Huh. Hey, Ryuki. What are you hiding? Hmm. Huh? If I told you, you would probably hate me. That's not true. I already hate you. What do you hate about me? You're thick-headed. You're not honest with your feelings. You're an awful liar. You can't handle my sex jokes. And you're human. Hmm. But it's okay. Even though I hate you, no matter what, I'll... I will... Always. Hmm? Ryuki, it's a call. Why, if it isn't your dearest Dante? Mr. Dante? I'm connecting him. Hey, Ryuki. Where are you now? Um, I'm in the car. Metro Expressway 2. A little past the Shirogane pay station. Perfect. That's close. Close? You're close to the Sejima mansion near Azabu. Oh? Sejima? The 
former politician guy? Yeah, I got a tip. They said a suspicious man in an iron mask is at the Sejima residence. An iron mask? Terror. I'm in the northern part of the city. It's gonna take me a while to get there. So, Ryuki, can you get there first? Yes, understood. Don't do anything stupid. I can't promise that, Date. Hold your position until I get there. I've been... I can't promise that. Kizuna? Kidnapped? By terror? Okay, we just need to catch him. Hmm. Tama, the Sejima residence right away. I'm on it. So, is, is so a suspect or is so going to be cut in half? Or is he still in Japan? Did they mention that he, if he had to leave? He had to leave the... No, he's here. He's here. And, uh... Ryuki. So was someone else. No way. Iris? Iris, are you okay? Her breathing and pulse are normal. She has a bruise on her head, but otherwise she's okay. Nothing life-threatening. So, Sejima, you! Ah, another guest. Guest? No, I suppose that's not right. I can't call someone who barged onto my property a guest. Who are you? I'm Kuruto Ryuki, Abyss Special Agent. Abyss? <laughs> that tracks. None of you seem to have any manners. Iris, are you okay? <sighs> it's no use talking to her. She's totally gone. Cyrus. I mean, now could be an opportunity to, to take the cat ears and try them on. You know you want to. You know you want to try the cat ears on. We can- we cannot. We cannot take the cat ears. It's a garden rock. Garden stone. Shoes? No, cannot look at shoes. It's a tree here. Mansion. It's a giant subterranean mammal. It's a topiary. Now's not the time to be messing around. Yes, this is a very serious part. Sorry. No messing around right now. It's a lantern. All right, let's talk to So. What is she doing here? I haven't any idea. Perhaps she came to steal my coin. It's a Nishkigoi. They can fetch a fortune. What did you do to Iris? I didn't lay a finger on her. She slipped and fell. I'm guessing she hit her head on that stone. It's, a f it's the former politician jack-off, Sosajima. Where is Terror? Terror? The culprit of the HB case. The man with the iron mask. I've never heard of it. Ryuki, I x-ray scanned the whole area, but there's no one. <sighs> you should let her rest. You can leave her here. I'll have my maids take care of her. Absolutely not! I'm not gonna leave her here! Suit yourself, and expect to be charged with breaking and entering. We didn't break anything. Do it! I don't care! I shouted over my shoulder as I carried Iris off the property. <laughs> Something wrong, Iris. What? What's wrong, Iris? I... I died, right? Oh, no, not this time. Man, this is one fancy hearse. No. It's so long, though. 
Not all long cars are hearses. Then where am I? You're in a limousine. L l l lima what? What? You've heard of a limousine, Iris. Limousine. Like the capital of Peru? Not like that, no. Not a limousine. Wow, this is super cool! I'm glad you're back in good spirits. I've never been in a limousine before. What? I thought you were like a big, big time idol streamer. So impressed about being in a big car. And now she's full of energy. It might have been better if she stayed asleep. Bottle. Mini bar. It's liquor. It's a mini bar. Mini bar. Does it have really small bottles? I'm not sure. Bottles seem pretty regular sized. It's a mini bar. Glass. I know. We should watch a movie. Maybe another time. It's a built in screen. Ryuki. How many women have you... Uh, just the one, and it's really just my eyeball. Uh, um, well, none. Am I the first? Yeah, I guess you are. Yay! Number one! What is this woman plotting? I think she's just like that. Yeah, she's just, she's just like that. No, I can sense it. Careful, Ryuki. She's very calculative. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, sorry, Iris. Sorry. What skill can defeat an old man? Uh, Yoko Shihogatame. Why is he so concerned about defeating an old man? There's a couple questions about that. Other seats. Be everything. Oh, champagne cooler. All right, I think that's everything. Let's talk to Iris. Iris is sitting there. Why were you at the Sejima residence? I told you I met Mr. Sejima a few times before, right? Yeah, that's right, you did. Well, he told me, when you need help, just let me know. So I went to him to see if he could help me search for Kizzy. He might not be a politician anymore, but... He should still have power and influence, right? He's a big player in the deep throat of the political world. <laughs> Goodness. I think she means deep state. Ah, yes. I thought he could use some of that power to help us. Mr. Sejima could get a bunch of different organizations to help find Kizzy. That's what I thought anyway. How are you doing? The back of my head hurts a little, but I'm okay. Nothing of value got damaged. See? I'm bouncing right back! Bouncy, bouncy! Olympic class metal ruler, bendy, springy, bouncy! Ariyuki, can you put her in a Romero special? In, there's probably not a There's not really a lot of room in this limo, Tama. Maybe later. And really, how many brain cells do you need to stream Shovel Forge? Did you see Terror from the HB case? Terror? HB case? Yes. The man wearing an iron mask. What? He was Terror? So you saw him? Yeah. When I went into the garden, he was talking to Mr. Sejima. Oh, really? It seemed like a pretty serious conversation. I do kind of like the idea that Terror just goes around everywhere wearing that costume. I didn't want to interrupt. You just wear, could we just wear normal clothes and you wouldn't know who it is, but of course he has to wear the costume. I hid behind some bushes and waited for the opportune moment. Is that when you called Mr. Date? Yeah. I thought that if they saw me, I'd be in big trouble. I wanted him to come help me. I already contacted Date and told him about what happened. I also told him we have Iris with us. Got it. Did you happen to overhear what they were talking about? Hmm? What Sosajima and Terror were talking about. Did you catch any of it? Um... Well... Well? 
I can't remember. Oh no, short-term amnesia. I remember contacting Mr. Date, but nothing after that. So much amnesia. I don't even know how I hit my head. I checked her brainwaves. I don't think she's lying. She might have a concussion. That would cause short-term memory loss. No. Not when we're so close. Surely there must be something we can do to get those memories. But it's not really like she lost her memory. Yeah, it's still in there. It's just we have to pull it out. She just can't remember. And what could we do to, to pull that memory out? You mean... Huh? Huh? So, who are you, really? I am Terra. You've heard of me, haven't you? Ah, the primary suspect of the half-body case. Playing these games with your victims before killing them. How lowly. Is that what you're doing here? Going to toy with me before slicing me in half? You see, I have a favor I need to ask you. You should be getting some guests soon. And I want you to tell them the execution chamber is. Oh, you mean the one Oh, I guess so didn't tell us that. Who's there? Eavesdropping? Well, we actually got some useful information from a wink sink. That's how Iris hit her head. We usually don't get that. And why she doesn't remember what they were talking about. Hmm. Hmm. What is it? Execution chamber. That's what Terror said, right? Yeah. Maybe Kizuna is there. No, I'm sure of it. She must be there. Even if she is, what can we do? We won't get any more info from wink sink. Sounds like someone needs a good chairing. We should confront Sosajima himself. He has left his mansion in a car. He's heading north on the Tohoku motorway, and fast. I don't know where he's going, but it's gonna be a hassle to catch up to him. Then we have no choice. Only one option left. Meaning... You know what I mean. We need to go deeper into Iris's mind, using a regular sink. I mean, Iris, this is an old, this is old hat for Iris. She knows all about the chair. What was Terror doing at Sejima's place? So far, we have no idea. But if we find out what they were talking about... Of course, that being said, our priority is to find Kizuna. So we need to find out where this execution chamber is, yeah? That's right. Ryuki, we're ready to go. I'm sure you already know this, but the time limit inside Somnium is... Six minutes, I know. Probably actually is useful to remind Ryuki of that every time, since he does have his memory problems. All right. Let's get started. Let the sinking begin. Is it... Is it Shovel Forge again? No, not there. 
Come out from there. What are you trying to make me do? I'm just saying come out from there, so come out. And I'm asking you why. What's the point? It pumps me up. I need you to do it, so do it. Okay, okay, geez, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, this is an invasive species that destroys the ecosystem. <sighs> There's a whole hidden world down here you don't see until you've drained the pond. Ryuki. There must be other dangerous organisms in this pond. Ryuki, seriously! Good evening, good morning, and hello! This will be a brand new series. I'm starting a new game today. The game I'll be playing is... I don't know. Will will her viewers be accepting of this? Her viewers go to her stream to watch her play Shovel Forge. Will they will they stick around for Kusemon Go? Kuse. What? She's talking about that geolocation game for your phone that's been out a few years now. You look for monsters and items and special locations. You play the game by walking, basically. A very good look for so. Hmm. I won't let you pass. It's so. That's the leader of the mansion. We're gonna defeat him in battle. If you want to uncover the secret of this mansion, you will need to defeat the two assassins and then me. <laughs> It's pretty out of character. We need to defeat the leader and uncover the secret of the mansion. But in order to battle, we need to gather three Kusamon. We gotta catch three by walking around. Is this some kind of joke? To recreate Iris's memory, we're gonna have to go with the flow here. I guess we start by gathering three Kusamon. But before that... Somnium scan, activate. Make Iris remember what she heard. Okay. First, we need to go to different Kusamon points. By going to the Kusamon points, we should be able to find some Kusamon. That's what the wiki said, at least. Let's go to the first Kusamon point. If the wiki says it, I guess it's true. Must be. Right. Let's get those Kusamon and charge the mansion. Okay. Let's inspect that first Kusamon point. Okay, then. By gathering three Kusamon hidden around, you can create your own party and battle. And I guess that is what we'll be doing next time. And as for right now, we are going to save a game. It is saved. All right, well, we actually got a look at Terror. We heard Terror talking to Sosajima, who actually is appearing in this game. Um, he wanted So to tell us something about the Execution Chamber, but for some reason So, I guess, was not playing along. For whatever reason. I mean, So is, doesn't really want to do what other people want him to do. He kind of, he kind of just wants to do his own thing, even if maybe it's not the most helpful thing. Like, So, so might be completely innocent, but he's gonna act like a big ass about it anyway, so he's gonna be suspicious. Um... Let's look at our flowchart. Alright, so... Still no branch points. Does Tama have any advice for us? Tama, what should I eat for dinner? What do you think I should eat for dinner? Let's see... It's been a while, so I'd like to see you eat and compare most fish liver and foie gras again. Wow, she, uh... Does get fancy with dinner, doesn't she? Worried about work? 
No. No. Mm, worried about money? I want all the money. Huh? You don't really have worries, do you? That's right. Ah, are you bored? No. Is that so? So I guess that means you're busy? But you still came here. What's wrong with you? Get back to your station and do your job. I feel like this is the result I always get. Once you're done, come back so you can help me pass the time. I'll be waiting. All right. Well, anything new that we found here? There's masked woman. Mysterious person appears to be female based on body shape, but basically everything is unknown. Uh, the prime suspect for the HB case, he wears an iron mask. We don't know anything about terror, of course. So. So Sejima was once a member of parliament who had strong influence on the political and business worlds. No longer a politician, he still owns a wealth of assets and holds tremendous power. Oh, he is into Kusemon Go. So that is not out of character for So. He actually is into the game. Tomi. Iris's unmarried mother. Her parents passed in an accident when she was 17. She raised Iris all by herself. Due to an incident in the past, her right arm is disabled. Apparently, she's very good at Space Invaders. The receptionist. The receptionist at Lemniscate. She loves a man with a deep, gravelly voice, you know? She's totally in love with that shiz. Kinda has an upstate stom upset stomach lately, which sucks. She dislikes men that act like ballers, but are really scrubs. Taxi driver. A private taxi driver has an accent. Lemniscate regularly requests his services and often gives rides to their talents. He's very knowledgeable about them. He's good at stalking. Anything new for the... Oh, no. Well, we haven't been in the present day for some time, so not surprising there's nothing new for that. Tell me what a hottie is. Oh, and your voice is super mega hot, too. The receptionist uses the term hottie to refer to anyone she finds hot. It's pretty simple if you think about it. Perineum. The first is located at the base of the spine. The area between the anus and vulva. When confessing your love to someone, it might sound cool to say, I want to see your first chakra. Sounds very dramatic. A tete tete Come on, let's have a chat, cutie. A little tete tete a tete tete is a private conversation. It's funny because it sounds like tit a tit. A little bit. A little bit. Come on! A way to get attention from someone. Thank you for defining come on. Short-term memory loss. A memory disability that makes you forget what happened in the last few minutes to few days. I get this when I'm drunk sometimes. Traffic. Traffic can be brutal. Disorientation. A disability that makes people forget space, time, and people. I definitely get this when I'm drunk. Aphonia. The technical term for being unable to speak is aphonia. Aphonia is a psychogenic disability, which is different from aphasia, which has a physical cause. The Deep State. A political group which controls world politics from behind the scenes. There's no proof they exist, merely a conspiracy theory. Yes, indeed. Deep Throat. From 1972 to 1974, there was a scandal in the United States that came to be known as Watergate. The individual that leaked insider information of Nixon's campaign was known as Deep Throat. Let's not, into get, let's not get into any other definitions of the term. There's only the one. Only the one. Psych. Can you show me your first chakra? Huh? Psych. Or was it? Super mega. Wow. Well, wow. It's super mega big. 
doppelganger, a type of hallucination in which you see someone that looks identical to you, also called otoscopy, often considered a supernatural phenomenon. It's rumored that if you see one, you will die, but that's not true. I've seen one so many times. Well, I'm basically half dead anyway, since I don't go home on weekends and look through documents all day. Nirvana X, a video from February 14th, likely related to the Nirvana Initiative. There are two ciphers which seem to represent the time and location of the plan. Pile Driver, a pro wrestling maneuver. It is performed by sticking the head of your hunched over opponent between your legs and lifting them so they are upside down. In this position, you fall backwards on your butt and the opponent's head is slammed into the ground. Thoughty, a thoughty never gets cold. Call and response. This was one of the call and response cha cha chants for a set Iris between her and her fans. They're magical chants that create a special kind of unity. Call and response two. This is one of the call and response. Yeah, special kind of magical unity. Good old Kagami. There's a wonderful technology called the internet. Please use this to search for more. Bond. Tell me about bondage. There are many bondage positions with reference sea life. How strange. Oh my god. They're coming out with a sequel? Oh my god! It's seem to be updated on this now. Evaluation. Class up. Costumes were added to bonus. Entomologist and prison garb. Well, I mean, if that's the case, I guess we might as well dress up Tama. Hi. I'll be gentle. Tama, why do you always talk about that kind of thing? Tama, why do you always talk about that kind of thing? What kind of thing? I want to hear you say it. That's all? Very well. Tama will not tell us why she talks about that kind of thing. Cosplay is good, too. Doesn't seem like we have anything new here. All right, do we have to unlock that from the the thing on the um, the main menu? For some reason, the bonus menu is only accessible uh, by leaving and going back to the title screen. Ophthalmologist prison garb. Which they seem pretty different. I don't know why they're under the same thing. Dream album. Might as well buy one. Ryuki part two. Ryuki part chapter two. Totiko, Toki, Tokiko A one. So me too. There we go. I'll just save that question for next time, but we just we're just here because I want to see the dress up. It's fine. Okay, prisoner's uniform. Good in prison guard. Yeah, there there we go. I guess uh, the uh, the entomologist is for Iba. Um, this this uniform does seem more Thomas style than Iba. It is true. Those shackles look very becoming. American Samoa Smash? American Samoa Smash! Just see it through. Then you'll know the answer. That's not what you said there, but okay. It's fine. All right. Well, I guess, uh, I guess that's it for tonight's session. 
of AI, the Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative. We still really have no idea of what's going on, but at the very least, it seems that Date has a theory about who Terror is, as opposed to Ryuki, who knows absolutely nothing. We know that So has met Terror, and So knows something about the Execution Chamber, so we got to get that information. Um, we're about to go into Iris's Somnium and play some Kusemon Go. Um, well, Kazuna's missing. We don't know where she is, but maybe she's in the Execution Chamber, and everyone is very concerned, and everyone's looking for her. Um, and... You know, despite Ryuki's best efforts, he just isn't really making much progress in this investigation. But maybe, maybe he'll find the key information that he needs in Iris's Somnium. And, uh, hopefully Iris doesn't get cut in half. Hey, Amame has not been cut in half. Yet. So things are looking up. Maybe Iris won't get cut in half. We'll find out. To continue on with with AI too.